Did you know that 60% of the calories in an average American's diet come from ultra-processed foods? Shocking, isn't it? Now, you might be wondering what exactly ultra-processed foods are. Well, they're foods that have been significantly altered from their original state through industrial processing. They often contain additives and ingredients that you wouldn't normally use in home cooking, such as emulsifiers, flavor enhancers, and non-caloric sweeteners. While some ultra-processed foods are obviously junk food like soft drinks and chips, others are packaged foods that we often consider healthy. Yes, you heard it right. Your favorite breakfast cereals, protein bars, plant-based milks, breads, yogurts, meal bases, sauces, processed meats, and even margarine could be ultra-processed. So what foods are we talking about? Let's dive in. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but could your cereal and protein bars be doing more harm than good? You might be surprised to learn that many breakfast cereals and protein bars are actually ultra-processed. Marketed as healthy, they often contain maltodextrins, processed proteins and fibers, and even colors. Compare this to the humble oat. Oats contain just one ingredient, oats. No hidden additives, no fancy marketing, just pure, wholesome nutrition. And what about protein bars? Despite the hype, many of these snackable treats are also ultra-processed, packed with processed fibers and proteins, invert sugars, and non-caloric sweeteners. So, what's the takeaway? It's simple. Not everything that glitters is gold, and not everything that's packaged is healthy. It's essential to take a closer look at the ingredients before you reach for that seemingly healthy breakfast option. Next time, remember to check the ingredients before reaching for that cereal box. Think your plant-based milk and bread are healthy? Think again. You see, not everything that glitters is gold. Same goes for many plant-based milks and breads that we often assume are healthy. They may appear wholesome on the outside, but a peek at the ingredients list tells a different story. Many of these dairy alternatives contain emulsifiers, vegetable gums and flavors, making them ultra-processed. But don't get disheartened. There are brands out there that keep it simple, with ingredients like water, soybeans, oil and salt. Now let's talk about bread. Some packaged breads that come in plastic wraps and are cheaper may contain emulsifiers, modified starches, and vegetable gums again, making them ultra-processed. But there's a silver lining. Fresh bakery breads are rarely ultra-processed. So, don't forget to read the label next time you're shopping for bread or milk. Yogurts, sauces, and meats sound healthy, right? Not always. Many yogurts, especially the flavored ones, are often loaded with additives like thickeners, non-caloric sweeteners, or artificial flavors. However, there's a simple solution opt for plain yogurts instead. As for meal bases and sauces, many pre-prepared pasta and stir-fry sauces are brimming with ingredients such as thickeners, flavor enhancers, and artificial colors. But don't fret. You can easily whip up simple, minimally processed sauces at home using ingredients like canned tomatoes, vegetables, garlic, and herbs. Now let's talk about processed meats. Those convenient packaged cold meats may contain emulsifiers, modified starches, thickeners, and added fibers, making them ultra-processed. But guess what? You can replace those with healthier alternatives such as cold roast meats or chicken. So you see, not all that glitters is gold. Think margarine is a healthier choice than butter? You might want to reconsider. Margarine is in fact an ultra-processed food. It's not crafted in the traditional churn-like butter, but rather manufactured through a process called hydrogenation. This is where vegetable oils are transformed into a spreadable form, a process which often involves additives such as emulsifiers and colors. Now let's contrast this with butter. Butter is essentially made from cream and a bit of salt. That's it. No fancy chemical processes, no long list of unpronounceable ingredients. Just simple, pure cream and salt. The difference here is stark. One is a product of nature minimally processed and close to its original form. The other is a product of industry, heavily processed and far removed from its origins. The next time you spread margarine on your toast, remember, butter might be the healthier choice. Remember, real food doesn't have the long list of ingredients that ultra-processed foods do, so make the switch today for a healthier you.